Welcome back, everybody, to Alan Wake 2. We're going to be playing Night Springs today, the new expansion that just came out this morning. It involves three different episodes of what-if type scenarios uh, in the Alan Wake universe. I think it. I think it's kind of like, uh, they're not canon, but I don't know. They're, we're not playing as Alan Wake himself or any of the main characters, but we're playing as characters that are in the story. And there's a particular somebody I'm interested in playing as is I think it's going to rope them into the greater story that is the remedy the remedy entertainment universe or however you wanna however you wanna place it, but um I'm pretty excited. Let's get down to them. Night Springs. Uh number one fan. Wait, what does the circle do? Nothing, okay. The Lake House is the next expansion, okay. Night Springs, uh, number one fan. Loading into the expansion from this menu will overwrite your progress in the existing expansion quick save slot. I don't have anything, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, Mr. Door. Good to see you again. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages, <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs? So... Tonight's oh, cl classic episode, number one fan. Teleplay by Alan Wake. The best pie in town. Night's Diner? So it's not... It's not the Odeer Diner? I'm pissed I don't remember her name. a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then, bam, destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <sighs> but <laughs> that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. <laughs> didn't start off with all that excitement it began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of night springs she the new lamp lady as always night's diner was the hottest spot in town so there was plenty of work to do so i think the fact that it's night's diner and not the oh dear diner means that kind of separates it from the original the original story. I don't know if they intend to have this be like a multiversal type deal where there's there's multiple Alan Wakes, there's m multiple uh there's multiple like uh you know th this character, damn it, I I'm pissed I don't remember her name. I uh, will we'll find out soon enough, but I don't know if it's if it's meant to like have that sort of an effect and then they're working together because in the original uh, Alan Wake 2, she mentions that Alan had been sending her messages to help him. And I, I, I suggest, based on the setup of what this was, that's pretty much what we're looking at here is that uh, it, it's she, she, this, this is the story of her getting those messages from Alan to help him get out of the dark place or at least set it up or whatever. But uh, it's just interesting that, yeah, and everything's fucking pink, dude. I'm just now really realizing that too. Okay, 
can't get in there? Okay. Everything is pink. Hi, everyone. Could I get another cup of that delicious mm. special brew that only you know how to make? Of course. Maybe. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please, and thank you. Maybe she. This is what she sees in her head. Ever since she got, you know, fondled by the woman in black. I love the. Not the worst thing that could happen, I guess. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? Bird sanctuary. I work extremely hard, but also I'm naturally talented. <laughs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. Bird sanctuary, huh? Uh, not with that you attitude. You won't be with that attitude. Life's not a side order of hash browns, so don't expect someone to bring it to you. Wow. Uh. That's tough, but fair. Thank you for telling me exactly what I needed to hear. No problem. Your waitress just absolutely dunks on you. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. Hmm. I'm interested to see where this goes. If it's all just like a fiction, just hot coffee doesn't I matter, or if it does. For that writer was named best fan site I'd be very surprised world. if it doesn't have something to actual, like actually do with. Thanks. It wasn't easy. The main scenario. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. Sam Lake is up. You two are destined He's too for smart. each other. We sure are. That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. Better put this pot back. I love That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. All right. Pie! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Shucks. Dispense really good advice is the optional fucking thing for this. The writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh. We have our own ways of talking. Uh. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. This is Amazing. definitely some sort Thanks. of fantasy. Those yoga lessons really paid off. Is there anyone else I can tell really good advice to? Is not Steiner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course! We're gonna make this our 20th win in a row! Jesus Christ, talk about a dynasty. My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? Those hmm. plates won't clear themselves. Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. Lose the bandana. But it's what's inside that matters, right? Uh, you need to make an effort, man. Oh, you still have to put in some effort. <laughs> if you don't have a jacket with elbow patches, <laughs> so dumb. Elbow patches. Oh, got it. Thanks a million. <laughs> don't mention it. Okay, and is that? All the advice I can give, probably. I better take these plates back to the service window. Of course, they don't go up at the counter. I should have known. Yep, did it all. Excuse me. Can I borrow you? What can I get you? Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. After all, you're the town's literature. I was going to say you just ask. Oh, you have the waitresses? To read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. They call him the writer. I'll grab you a coffee from the back. They don't say Alan. 
like they don't say his name. They it, they call him the Rider with a capital W. Just little nuances. Just trying to trying to trying to catch anything that comes my way. Don't want any, anything to slip. Uh, is that supposed to be Alan? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute. What is is that supposed to be Alan or is that who is that? Dude has a mustache with no beard, and then this is clearly Alan. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. Uh, Alan. Alan with cat ears. Uh, Beat Poetry Night. Open mic every Friday at 8 for the literary advancement of Night Springs. What is this? Employees of the Decade Award. Employee of the Decade Award. Jesus Christ, imagine winning Employee of the Decade in recognition of basically being the best at, like, everything presented to everyone's favorite waitress. This has got to be in her fucking head. I mean, maybe it's the head in her, like... In her own world, you know, like uh, that that saying. You better not crease any pages. Two can do it. Uh, thank you so much for making, for taking in my six macaws. I know you have your hands full with all the other sick birds at your bird sanctuary, and mm, I guess I'm I'm trying to read into the bird thing. Is it like I'm I'm thinking like old birds, but that I think bird specifically refers to like women in, you know. You, you you would call a woman like a bird. I don't know if it's slanderous or not. I don't think it would be uh, like a bird in in like the UK. You know, women are like birds. <laughs> I don't know. But if anyone can find a cure for their rare bird lupus, it's you. Yours truly, a young girl who wants to be you someday. The only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Love will hurt by America's best-selling writer. Death comes for everyone. That doesn't mean it's painless. Death will hurt by America's best-selling writer. Love will hurt. Death will hurt. Will hurt. A man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice and the whole city will hurt. The guy's name is Will Hurt uh, by America's best-selling writer. Okay. Um, What's going on here? What? We came in the bag for a fucking book. Right? Holy fuck! Jesus Christ! Oh fuck! I'm in danger. Please, my number one. Oh my god! Only one who can save Holy shit! That. Oh my gosh! God damn! I'm on my way. Ah, that fucking got me. Terrible danger. Holy shit! The stakes had never been higher. Fuck! I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. Oh, I forgot what kind of fucking game this was. God damn it. All the pink fucking tore me away. Son of a bitch. Oh, I got hairs just fucking... Oh, man. I can see them actively growing out of my arms. The goosebumps are so big. Jesus. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't even know what he said. I, I don't know what he said. Um, what's, what's my objective here? Uh, oh, okay. Did not mean to do that. Is nobody cooking in the kitchen? Who the fuck spilt all the milk? Oh good, a halfway open door. <sighs> My excess. Holy fuck! Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. Jesus Christ. My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme fully automatic? Extreme shotguns. What the fuck? Action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly. And looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. What about a pistol? I was finally ready for a night out on the town. Can I take a pistol, with please? Danger. Alright, fine. And what's through here? Oh, just another way into alright. Well, that dude's not getting his fucking his book. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. You guys are the real the real the real waitresses. Yep. The boat yard is this way. You better hurry. Go through the boat yard. It's the shortest route. Okay. All right. That well that is closed. 
And that is also, the game doesn't want me to go that way. I guess just follow everybody else. You can do it. <laughs> what the fuck? This was my Pink moment. truck. My chance to save the rider and make him realize how much he needed Nothing and if that's can not stop love, the power of love. Night Springs. Home of America's best-selling rider. One righteous waitress plus one rider equals forever. Well, the math somewhere isn't I was mathing. leaving my old life behind. Like a body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Nothing would get between me and my future with the rider. Uh... Oh, okay. Don't know if that was a glitch or if it was meant to do that. No way. Is this Alan? Now, who the heck is that? Oh, I know this guy. Who are you? <laughs> and why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. <laughs> sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. Uh... But you're his brother! I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common and after you change you can move in together And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself Too bad You know what they say if you can't join him beat him That's well. No, that's not what they say, but what did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have a shotgun. I have a shotgun. <laughs> well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? <laughs> okay, I admit that's a... I didn't expect that. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. Holy shit. Only a monster could be blind to the Oh shit, what the fuck? Books. Whoa. Oh, I forgot about the adaptive triggers. Ow! Ah! Holy shit. Son of a bitch! That is automatic. Ow! Okay, uh. Fuck, how do I dodge again? Sorry, relearning how to play the game. Fucking. God damn it, dude. How the fuck do you. <sighs> yeah. It said so I, I should have read the tip. It said something about love. Okay, that's inventory. Okay, LB. Gotcha. Mother. Fuck, dude. Holy shit. Come on, come on, come on. Holy fuck. Oh, fuck. How did he ever get published? Oh, God. Fuck. Uh, 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 uh. 
Jesus. Ah! Son of a... Ah! Jesus! Ah! Go, 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 go. Shit. All right. Uh, how do I switch weapons again? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Nope. Oh. Bitch. Holy fuck. I forgot how intense this fucking game was. God damn. The wolf head didn't scare me as much as I feel like it probably should have. That fucking automatic talking bass head or whatever. Uh, that scared the living shit out of me. That fire doesn't look very real, but maybe it's not supposed to. My writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere. Like a sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me. The twin's motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me right to my writer and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. Oh, uh... Is she talking about Alex Casey? Uh, no, he just got divorced. I don't think she died. Maybe he's talk. well... Is he talking about the- he's not talking about, like, the FBI agent Alex Casey, he's talking about the detective- More haters! Uh, shit. The detective with fucking what's-her-name. Um... Fuck, what was her name? I don't fucking remember. Started with an S, I think. Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Fucking ouch! Come on, come on, reload! Yeah, I know, it's not fucking working! Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck. Jesus! Hungry. Why is it not Jesus Christ? Now I remember why this game didn't get game of the year last year. <laughs> it's a little bit buggy. Uh what is this? I need to heal. Yes, I'll take that. Thank you. Ah! Bye, bitch. Hold on. I need to fill my gun up. Where are they at? Where are they at? Okay. Good. Uh, do I go and look at the other direction? I know the place we're supposed to go is down that way, but... I don't know if it'll stop. Yeah, okay. The path is blocked. Fucking music is groovy as shit, dude. I love it. Why hadn't my writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother? <laughs> he must be waiting until our third or fourth date, surrounded by candles, uh... so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. Man has more layers than a croissant. I mean, I sure as hell wouldn't say anything. Just hope it never comes up. Is that a book? Are there collectibles in these episodes? Um, all the terrors of the angels in heaven were falling over this city. She wore the rain like a funeral shroud. 
She was in a sad state, this city of mine, but she was still mine. The filthy prison I called home. Is this... I was here for a reason. Joe Bullets Capone. He was inside drinking champagne and throwing around his dirty money while I stood in the rain smoking a soggy cigarette. But that didn't matter. Is this supposed to be Alex Casey? The one thing that mattered was I knew Bullets had a bad night coming his way. And he had no clue. He made me wait for it, though. My pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time Bullets staggered out the back door. I detached myself from the shadows, stepped up right beside that pathetic excuse for a man. Long time, Joe. Bullets looked up, his booze-soaked grin twisted into something less friendly. You. He reached for the pistol under his jacket, a six-shooter with slugs big as my cigarette stubs. I'd done my homework. He barely had the piece out of his holster before I was on him. I wrestled it out of his hands, tossed it behind a dumpster. Bullets didn't like that. Gave me one right in the gut. Wind rushed out of my lungs like a soul leaving my body. Through my wheezing, I could make out the slap of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. I had to go after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. He had info I needed. The address of the last stop for this train called Revenge. So I sucked in whatever air I could and took off after him. Through the twisting maze of alleyways. Two rats, but only one cheese. I pulled out my revolver. I was playing for keeps. Don't make this hard, Joe! I caught up to him as he was dropping down the other side of a chain-link fence. He sneered, teeth like rows of gray tombstones. He thought he was escaping. He thought he was safe. My body slammed against the fence like a bird against a window. I clutched the thin metal, scrambled over it, the jagged ends of the wire ripping through my sleeves of my leather coat, biting into my skin. The pain was welcome. I dropped down in the alley and ran like a panther. At every blind corner, I expected a trash can lid to... What? I expected a trash land kit... Trash land kid? Jesus Christ, trash can lid to the face. None came. Maybe bullets hadn't liked the wit, what he saw in my eyes as I climbed that fence. I bet he wasn't smiling now. Then I had him. A trapped rat trying and, fla trying and failing to wrench a locked door off its hinges. I leveled my gun at him. You know what I want, Joe. Bullets let go of the door handle. Hands as up as they'd go beseeching a higher power and not to cast him down. Come on, man. Ain't gonna bring your wife back. Can't hurt to try. Talk. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Sure. Bullet lunged for his ankle, a crack of lightning from my hand, and he was down in the gutter, clutching his belly. I walked over, calm as snow. I stood over him, watched his putrid blood mingle with the rivers of rainwater. You talk, I call an ambulance. His words were having a hard time getting through the pain. You're insane, man. Insane. I raised my gun level with his eyes. Try again. Okay, okay, okay. You want the big man, yeah? I know where you can find him. Blood pounded in my ears like war drums. All the killing, the sleepless nights, the booze, the countless cigarettes I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this. The drums got louder. Bullets caught his breath, straining against the pain. Then he spilled his guts. My number one fan, if I don't make it, then I just want you to know that... No, I can't say it. Curse my cripplingly sensitive artistic nature. <laughs> what? I left the alley, told a waiter on the curb that a guy had been shot. Didn't care what he did with that information. I had what I needed. What the fuck? Straining against... The, then he spilled his gut so... Bullets was... Bullet... Uh, what, what, is, what is his name? Joe Bullets Capone is the writer? What? All right. A little interesting. Hope you didn't mind that little... uh. That reading passage I did, I'm sure I'm not very great at it, but, um, the let's continue on. 
landed at a cabin. Was my writer inside? Hello? Isn't anyone gonna rescue this poor little writer? Hello? What? Is anybody there? I'm just a frail writer and I require aid. <laughs> <laughs> what the inside. fuck? I'm gonna get another fucking heavy jump scare, aren't I? Muscles okay. don't cry, they sweat. No more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. Huh, yeah, I don't like this. This is a wee bit Riding scary. Wolves? Seems like a dangerous hobby. Becoming the alpha, everything you need to know to lead your wolf pack like a true alpha. TJ Wolf. This is a teleplay by Alan Wake. Where are you? I was never upstairs. I lied when I said there were no more tricks. <laughs> You're starting to piece me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. The fuck is this? First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker? He had crossed the line. Nothing worse I out there than a tea to go drinker. To that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. Uh, car battery, solid potential, pulling fingernails, too messy. The bell. Where do I get a bell? Blunt spoon, nice and simple. Dismantle typewriters, A plus psychological damage. Gasoline fire. Fire might burn my cabin down. Maybe overcomplicating this. Is this? Ways to, uh, to torture him. Said he was down at the beach. I know what he said. I'm exploring. All right, give me a minute. Oh, I don't like that. What the fuck? Why did the rest of the fucking ambiance fucking die out? Okay, I'm prepared for a jump scare now. Here, here we go. Uh, I guess writing doesn't run in the family. Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone. The night can only come when the day is done. Can the sea ever meet the ocean? Really makes you think. All right, I'm prepared for a jump scare. I'm seeing what the fuck is in here. Don't do anything. Uh, uh, I don't know what's in there, but there's something and I don't like it. I'm backing up slowly. I'm not turning around. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Hello? Is anybody there? Chatting down by the beach, right? Don't anything I fucking have to pop get up. Down to that beach and get my rider back. Yeah, I know, I know. Just fucking give me a second. I don't want to get. I'm trying to keep in mind what fucking game I'm playing here. All right, the beach. Not this beach. This beach. Okay. Thank you for the clarification. There he is. Hey, me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Is that right? Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd. Hush he's... your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. Um, why are you doing this? <gasps> what did he ever do to you? I, uh... Already told you that? At the boatyard? I feel overshadowed. <laughs> success, like I've taken everything I could to beat. Oh, right. <laughs> it's a self-confidence thing. Uh, wh well, it's a bit more complicated than that. You are going to tell me where he is, or else. Or else what, babe? 
You asked for it. You're rude. You have no manners. Your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but try to realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You no, stop. I don't like being seen. <laughs> I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms his mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> no! What's going on? What? Oh, shit. Even with my famously keen perception. Famously keen. Oh, shit. Ow, you bitch. Come on. Just fire. Damn it. Holy shit. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Give me that, I'll take that, thank you. Holy shit. 154 bullets, what am I fucking conserving ammo for? She does not load this thing up very fast. God damn. Are you shitting me? Well, there's nothing in there. Getting some choppy footage here. I don't know why. Come on, come on. Whoa! Bitch. All right. Jesus Christ. I forgot how unstable this fucking shit is. I knew you, my number one. What man, the fuck? Would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise, and just as fiery. <laughs> I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. She is fucking delusional. Wow, that's actually super high detail, like in her earrings, right when her head moves, like the dangle fucking also moves. Spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. A gear? We were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. <laughs> the stakes had never been higher. Just like they weren't ever higher, what, 30 minutes ago? The stakes had never been higher. The goddamn bad boy. You son I of a bitch. You myself, I will. 
Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands. Is that the darkness on the What the fuck? Whoa! What the fuck? I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here. Yeah, okay, he's taking damage. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Heal, 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 heal. Holy shit. Let me get him from far away. Uh, you bitch. What the? Oh, fucking hell. I need to fill my gun up. My motorcycle is also a werewolf. God damn it. Come on, man. I think they fixed the wolf movement a little bit. Ah, oh, fuck it. Is he down? Wait, what? Where is he? Oh, they put him over here. of his talent, his money, his velvety hair, but mostly that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. <laughs> oh, you silly werewolf. You can have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to. Uh, time to clean my house? Hungry. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sup, bitch? Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking you, bitch. How did you charge through that? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's a big bitch. Damn! Uh oh, that's another one. Okay, 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 I gotta. Hold on. Holy shit, okay. Heal? The fuck? For contributions to art and artistry across the globe, the recipient is hereby recognized as a champion of literature who embodies all spiritual and physical qualities valued in one pursues the art of writing, presented by the Society of High Art. Okay. Uh, I know I shouldn't be looking around too much because it's a little, kind of ruins the pace of everything. But I am just a little interested in what's going on here. So I assume he's upstairs. His characters all talk weird. Oh, 
Are these like- I wonder if these are actual fucking, uh, people that would be pissed off about like, what they said about the first game. That'd be interesting. Oh. Ouch. Get away from that door! Jesse wants nothing to do with you. Oh god. Ugh. Oh wait a minute, that's not the Jesse door. That's the fucking Alan door. Alan? That writer isn't going to kiss himself. Damn it, I didn't look at the rest of the fucking house. And there he was. <laughs> After all the fighting, we were finally alone. Together. Our love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. <laughs> he told me all the sweet things I'd been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. To inspire and protect him. <laughs> what he the needed fuck? me now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. A fan and the object of her joy come together against a world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But is happiness like beauty all in the eye of the beholder? Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs. Fuck yeah, and then this song plays? Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yes! Give it up for fucking Island Wake 2, man. I fucking- This song is a fucking bop if you- If you don't have this on your actual fucking Spotify playlist, what the fuck are you doing? All right, that's the end of the episode, literally, and uh, I can't wait to play the other two. It doesn't seem like, in particular, that had anything that was sort of canon about the story. Maybe it does, and I just need to do a little bit more research on how it ties into everything, but, um, yeah, I, I, uh, it was at least a little, a little fun to play. I mean, like, I had a blast. It was a little glitchy. I mean, it seems like... You know, it seems pretty on par for what their last game was. Uh, it wasn't broken, but it definitely had a few hiccups here and there. Um, it's only been out for a few hours. I'm sure they'll come out with patches at some point, but yeah. So that's everything for right now. Uh, if you made it to this part of the video, I strongly suggest you subscribe because why the hell not? And if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on your way out the door, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm gonna let the song play out because it's a fucking dope ass song. I love it. And um, if you do plan on seeing the other two episodes, I'll be uploading those here on the channel. I hope you see me in the next one. Thanks again. Nice